Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat. In this session, we would look at a, an example for a cost allocation and specifically deals with the reciprocal model. In the prior section, we looked at the direct as well as the step, step method. And all these lectures are posted on farhatlectures.com, so you can go to my website and view those recordings. So the reciprocal model, what is the reciprocal model? The reciprocal model is reflective of the fact that the service department, so the service department, they do provide, for example, S1 and S2, they do provide services to themselves, and we will take that into account. Why is this important? This is important because in the direct method, we ignore this, this relationship between the service department. In the step method, we only looked at it from a one-way perspective. We looked from the most, the largest service department going down. In the reciprocal method, it's going to be both ways. So let's take a look at the same example that we use for the direct method and for the step method to illustrate the reciprocal method. So we have this company, the department cost allocation. We have Homeland Life Insurance, has two service department, S1, so we're going to call it S1 and S2. S1 is actuarial and S2 is the premium department. And they have two production department. So S1, this is S1 and S2, this is the premium, and they have two production department, P1 and P2. P1 is advertising, and P2 is sales. And this is the percentages, how they support each other. Now what we have is, uh, we have to, to solve this equation, we have to use linear algebra. How do we use linear algebra? Simply put, department S1 already have direct allocation is $80,000. Department uh, Service department two is $15,000. But before we proceed, before we proceed to allocate from the service department to the production department, once again, in the reciprocal method, the service department, they will need to allocate among themselves. Now, how are we gonna do so well we're going to have to do some algebra some manipulation let's look let's look at s1 which is the actuarial department s1 s1 what is s1 s1 how much does it have s1 has eighty thousand dollar of direct allocation plus an s1 we are going to have 20 percent of the premium department so it's going to be eighty thousand plus point two where, where did i get a twenty percent well, the premium department allocate 20% to the uh, S2, allocate 20% to S1, premium allocate 20% to the actuarial, plus 20% of multiplying by S2. S2, how do we figure out S2? S2, it has a direct cost of $15,000, plus S2, it's going to get, it's going to get 80%, point eight of S1. Now we have two linear equations that we need to solve for. So let's solve for S1. Okay. S1, let me just now switch color. Maybe this it will work with the pen better. S1 equal to $80,000 plus 0.2, open the bracket, 0 0.2, multiply it by 15,000 plus. 0.8 S1. How did I get 0.8 S1? 0.8 times S1 equal to 0.8 S1. Now let's solve S1. Sorry, my my pen is acting up a little bit. S1 equal to eighty thousand dollar plus what is 0.2 times uh, 0.2 times fifteen thousand. 0.2 times fifteen thousand is three thousand. Plus, what is 0.2 times uh, 0.8 S1? So, 0.2 times 0.8 is 0.16 S1. Point. Point 0.16 S1. Okay. Now, basically, I'm just going to solve um, S1 equal to 83,000 plus 0.16 S1. 
Now basically I'm just gonna eliminate S1, so I'm just gonna eliminate S1. So I'm gonna add and subtract 0.16 from both sides. So this is S1 means 1S1, this is 1S1. So 1S1, so I'm gonna take 1S1 minus 0.16, it's gonna give me 0.84S1 equal to 83,000. And basically I'm gonna just solve for S1, I'm gonna divide both sides by 0.84. So if I divide both sides by 0.84, S1 equal to 83,000 divided by 0.84, S1 will equal to 98,810. This is what S1 is. Once I find S1, how much allocated to S1, it's easy to find S2. All what I have to do is plug S1 into the formula of S2. And this is basically S2. So if I take, you know, 98,000, plug it here into S1. So let's see what it looks like now. So I'm going to gonna go to gonna clip this so this is this is s1 s2 s2 equal to 15,000 plus point eight times s1 s1 we know what s1 is 98,810 s2 equal to 15,000 plus point eight times 98,810, $79,048, S2 equal to $94,048. So I have S1 and S2. All right, I have S1 and S2. Since my pen is not working well, I'm gonna move to the Excel sheet and work this on the Excel sheet, it's cleaner. Actually, in the real world, what happened is, um, when, when you are dealing with multiple service department, <laughs> you don't do this manually, you, you, you figure this on an Excel sheet. So let's work this on an Excel sheet and uh, to see how it works. So for, just kind of, just to know what S1 is, we, so we need, to, we need the number for S1 and S2. So let's go back. S1, we computed S1, we computed S2. S1 was 98,000, 98,810 as computed earlier in S2, happens to be $94,048. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna set up the, the, the problem again as we did it earlier in the, in the other method, S1, S2, service department one, service department two, P1, and P2, okay? And basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back and now allocate, and well, let's, before we allocate, let's make sure we, uh, uh, 65,000, let's just put the original direct allocation, 55,000, and this was 60,000, and this was 40,000. Let me double check the figures just to make sure I have them right. Uh, it's 80, 15, uh, that's, that's a problem right there. 80 and 15, keep, okay, 80,000 and 15,000. Just give me one moment, please. Okay, now what's gonna happen is I am going to go ahead and start to allocate 15,000. 15,000. I'm gonna go ahead and start to allocate S1. I'm gonna start to allocate S1 to S2, P1, and P2. And S2 to S1, P1, and P2. So what's gonna happen, let me just just show you in a moment. So I'm gonna take S1, allocate S1 to S2, to P1, to P2. Then I'm gonna take P2, allocate it to S1, allocate it to P1, allocate it to P2. So this is what the reciprocal method is. So let's see how are we going to do this. Well, how are we gonna do this is based on the allocation that's given to us in the prior session, in the prior session. What were the allocation? Well, basically what we were, what we were given is this. We were giving that S1 department or S1 department allocate 80%. Let me go back to the figures. Uh, from yeah, 80, 10, and 10. So 80, 10, and 10. It's right there in the problem. So let me just, uh, just show you one more time. So S1 is 80, 10, and 10. And for S2, 
is 20, 20, and 60. This is how we're going to allocate this based on what we are giving in the first original data. So this is going to be 80 divided by 100. And let's do it as a decimal. 80 divided by 100, 10 divided by 100, 10 divided by 100, and 10 divided by 100. So this is how S1 is going to allocate to S2 and uh, P1 and P2. So now S1 has, S1, remember S1, we're dealing with this is S1, just kind of know this. This is S1, I've just highlighted in yellow. S1 is going to allocate to S2. It's going to allocate to S2. S1 is going to allocate, let me, just let me highlight this in yellow so we all know where this is coming from. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're going to allocate to S2 80%, 80%, 0.8 times this figure. So basically, what happened is, of S2, we allocated already $79,084. Then we're going to allocate of this amount, then 10%, we're going to allocate, let me just make sure I take it out first. So 98,000 times... 10%, we're going to allocate out of this amount to P1. So it's going to be this number positive. So I'm just going to have to do this positive, negative, and it's going to be positive. And I'm going to allocate out of this, out of S1, again, 10%. I'm going to make it negative to indicate I'm allocating it out of this amount and taking it to P2. So what I did, I took the 98,100 and allocated them to S2, P1, and P2. Let me highlight those in red, so this way. So what I have in yellow, what I have in yellow here in S1, in this box, or in this cell, okay, gets, got allocated some of it to S2, some of it to S P1, and some of it to P2. Now I'm gonna have to do the same thing for uh, S2. S2 has, let me highlight S2 in yellow, S2 has 94,000, S2 has $94,048, okay? Now I'm going to do the same thing, however, the, the allocation is going to be a little bit, not the same percentages, because it has a different percentages, it's going, it's going to be 20, 20, and 60, and again, how do I get those percentages? Uh, there we go, right here. 20, 60, and 20. So it's allocating 20 to the S1, 20, and 20, how, and, and 60. How did I know this? I just computed 20 plus 20 plus 60 equal to 100. Happens to be easy number, 20%, 20%, and 60%. So they could be any other number, but in this example, they made it very easy for us. So it's going to be 20% for S1, 20% for P1, and 60% for P2. So here we go. Let, let's do this now. Now I'm going to take out of this department, out of S2, I'm going to take, make this a little smaller so we can capture the total S2 in the figure. So I'm going to take out of S2, I'm going to make it minus, out of S2, I'm going to take 20% out of it. I'm going to take 20% out of it and give it to S1. Because it's going to, again, the reciprocal is basically we're going to, we're going to uh, give to the uh, other department. We're going to take, make it minus once again, 20% of S2, okay, minus, and give it to P1. So it's this number plus allocated to indicate it's allocated, it's being allocated. Then we're going to take 60%, make it minus, 60%, of S2 and allocate this amount to P2. So make this plus. Okay. So what, what did I do? What? Let's see, it didn't work. Now it worked. So what I did, I took the 98,000 and I allocated the 98,000. I'm going to use a different color here. I'm going to use blue maybe. Let's see, it's good. Okay. So I, take, I took the $94,084 of S2, and I, I allocated them to S1, P1, and P2, okay? 
Now what you can do, if you want to just confirm, sometimes it may or may not be exactly zero, because you need to make sure everything, all the service zeroed out, and hopefully it does, it's like rounding point, point 0.4, and point zero. So just basically because of rounding. So notice S1 and S2, I allocated everything out of them. Now I have the total for P1. Just So P1 total is 88,690. And P2 total, just let me copy and paste the formula, is 106,309, the total for that. Okay. So once again, this gets a little ugly if you have too many, uh, uh, too many, uh, uh, too many service department in the real world you'd use Excel there's something called solver in Excel and you can solve this maybe I will do an Excel sheet later on that deals with Excel and solve this or there's a special software accounting software that you could use or some sort of a uh, of an automated package that's going to help you allocate those costs but this is basically the reciprocal method again the reciprocal method is considered superior considered um, considered why? Because it's it's allocating the uh, the service costs in both direction, and in the real world, we want to be as competitive as possible in pricing our product. So, if you have any questions, any comments, and at the end of the day, always add those two numbers up: this plus this. Okay, equal to one ninety one hundred and ninety-five thousand, which is equal to just kind of this is a double check, equal to all all of this, which is. But they have 100,000 plus 15 plus 80, which is 195, to make sure you accounted for all the costs as a, as a reconciliation. So basically, if you have any questions, any comments, by all means, email me. Or if you're taking my class, see me in class. If you're studying for your CPA or for your CMA exam, by all means, study hard. It's worth it.